A machine that makes other machines is what Elon Musk called the greatest production plan of current times, the gigafactories. What are these monstrous industries, and why are they so important? Not just to Tesla, but for the tech industry as a whole. Why are they the future? And what more promises does Elon have in store for us? Stay tuned to find out. Now, first up, what does the word gigafactory actually mean? As we know, giga is a unit of measurement meaning billions. The owner of Tesla, Elon Musk, coined this term as he laid the foundation for the first of his production unit. But now, this description is used to cover massive scale production units that are built in stages and promise efficient, low cost electric batteries in a very short time. Elon can call dibs on the name, however, as almost everyone in the technology and automation industry refers to his production units as the gigafactories. Up next, how many gigafactories are there and where? Let's take a look. Though Tesla has production units all over the place, a few of its completely autonomous units are referred to as gigafactories. How about we start on them chronologically? Gigafactory 1, Giga Nevada, $2.4 billion. Tesla broke ground on this project in June 2014 outside Sparks, Nevada. The factory is a formidable structure located east of Reno in Nevada, USA. It spans over a massive area of 1.9 million square feet, has an operational area of 5.3 million square feet, and has a height of 71 feet. But it isn't even 30% complete yet. If it reaches its full potential, this monstrous industry will have the largest footprint in the entire world and will be the only self-sustaining energy plant. But what does this factory produce? Well, the facility, created in partnership with Panasonic, with several of its machinery and products also purely owned by Panasonic, produces battery packs for all Tesla vehicles except for the ones produced in Giga Shanghai. Not only that, but it is also the electric vehicle component and assembly unit for Tesla electric mobiles. This place employs more than 10,000 people. Giga Nevada is also aligned on True North so that its equipment can be tracked by GPS and the solar panels on the roof can be accurately aligned. Now Tesla has a basic goal. Production is more important than products. This means it employs more engineers to create production machines rather than focus on the product. But do you know what the drawback to this aim is? It means more wastage. A report from 2019 quotes how half a million battery cells per day were scrapped because of production defects related to carelessness or the overall pressure to increase production. The main product, lithium-ion cells, also called 2170 cells, are assembled and packed by humans and robots. While drive units for Tesla cars, including motors and gearboxes, are made with 90% of automation. The minimal involvement of humans shows one thing, that Tesla uses human resources mainly for innovation and saves massively on resources by automated production robots. Not only that, but this gigafactory aims to shift entirely on solar panels as its energy source, making it self-sustainable. Now the big question, what's the cost of Tesla's first and largest plant? Though this is a very rough estimate, the economic impact of such a factory comes to a massive $5 billion a year. This is besides the original construction costs, which were around $2.4 billion. This unit set the blueprint for the construction of its peers. Gigafactory 2, Giga New York, $1 billion. Tesla and Elon Musk have said this quite a lot of times. Green energy is the future. Tesla wants to shift away from using depleted sources like water, coal, and petroleum for energy to using nature's biggest energy source, the sun. With his company that goes by the name of Solar City, Elon Musk has revolutionized the solar panel industry by making cheap, cost-effective, and commercially practical photovoltaic cells. He wanted them to be introduced into the domestic circuit as well and has so far been very successful in his ventures. Giga New York is located in Riverbend, Buffalo, New York, is owned by the state of New York, and has been leased to Solar City. The groundbreaking ceremony for the 1.2 million square foot factory was done in September 2014. Production soon began first in partnership with Panasonic and then independently by Solar City for photovoltaic cells and commercial solar panels. The factory employs over 1,500 people and aim to increase, except that the pandemic hit employment rates a lot. However, production is back on track after the ease of restrictions. The solar cell production unit is still taking baby steps, but is worth a stupendous $750 million. It hopes to increase production and the rate of employment soon. An audit published in 2018 put the total cost of Buffalo Gigafactory at just shy of $1 billion to build. Gigafactory 3, Giga Shanghai, $2 billion. The United States isn't the only place that can boast of Tesla production units. 
China is no one to stay behind in the race of sustainable transport, and so it currently hosts the final assembly unit for the Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y of the Tesla automobiles, produced in what is known as Giga Shanghai. The factory is currently one of the largest production units that Tesla can boast of with a massive area of 9.3 million square feet. It is located in the city of Shanghai, China, secured within the Pudong district. The sheer size of this factory is intimidating because it has a maximum capacity of 18 million square feet and a height of 100 feet. But that was just the size. What does this unit actually manufacture? The factory currently does the final assembly and production of two of Tesla's vehicles, the Model 3 vehicles and the Model Y vehicles. Though their component parts are shipped in from the USA, this factory has an aim in mind, and that is made in China. Yes, that's right, they want this unit to be completely autonomous for the production of electric, cost-efficient, and smart vehicles targeted directly at Chinese consumers. It currently employs around 2,000 people and produces a massive number of 700,000 cars per year. Some of those are also exported to Asia and Australia. Now, we know what you're thinking, that a unit as large as this must cost a huge amount of investment. You're right on track, because Giga Shanghai, whose construction started in January 2019, has so far cost around 10.85 million yuan per 7,200 square feet. Do the math, and it comes to at least a $2 billion investment. And that's just the beginning because, as we told you earlier, gigafactories are built in phases, with each phase fueling the cost for the construction of another one until the unit becomes completely independent. News has it that construction phase 3 of Giga Shanghai has begun. Gigafactory 4 – Giga Berlin – $7 billion Europe has been thrown into a frenzy because of the current revolution in energy consumption. The world is demanding electric cars as an alternative to fuel-consuming cars, and that has put Asia at the forefront because it supplies electric batteries. So it doesn't come as a surprise that there was quite a scramble among the European Union countries when Tesla announced the plans of opening another gigafactory. Everyone knows the economic spurt associated with a gigafactory. Germany won the competition, however, and Giga Berlin came into existence in late 2021. Its construction had begun as early as 2020 after a deal with Germany was signed. The factory spans over three square kilometers with additional areas for offices and logistics. The factory has so far cost a whopping $7 billion, employs over 8,000 people, and aims to manufacture batteries, battery packs, and powertrains. Not only that, but it's aiming to be the assembly unit for Model Y Tesla vehicles and other electric cars in the future. Tesla held a huge fair after the construction was completed to invite tourists to come and look over the factory, where it also announced that the plant will be efficient enough to produce one car every 45 seconds. Will Tesla be able to manufacture up to its claims, or will Asia still take the lead when it comes to green energy production? Let's wait and see. Gigafactory 5 – Giga Texas – $1.06 billion Though not exactly a gigafactory yet in terms of production, we have included this last unit in our list as well because Tesla has planned to expand the factory into an automobile and cell manufacturing unit as well. The Giga Texas is located in Austin, Texas, and also serves as the corporate headquarters for Tesla. Its construction began in 2020, and the first Tesla Model Y rolled off the factory in late August 2021 under the trial process. The factory and training center, which employs several thousand people, covers an area of around 10 million square meters. The factory is planned to be the main production unit for the Tesla Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi. It will also produce Model 3 and Model Y cars for the eastern United States. The facility, which is currently in its early stages, has an estimated combined cost of $1.06 billion. It seems like Elon Musk really likes playing with big numbers when it comes to his money, huh? But is that all? Definitely not. An honorable mention in this list would be the Fremont factory, located near San Francisco. It is said to be the mother of all of Tesla's production and the place where its initial projects began. The factory offers 5.3 million square feet of area and houses over 10,000 of its employees. Apparently, the USA and Europe aren't the only options on Tesla's plate. Rumors have it that Tesla is planning another gigafactory in Asia, but not in China. Where could the possible location be? We think it will probably be in Japan or South Korea. Though these are just rumors, it would be kind of practical to make it in Japan with Panasonic so close. However, nothing is confirmed as of yet. A lot of people speculate that after Brexit, the Gigafactory UK is in the cards for the billionaire Elon Musk. It's kind of doubtful though. With Giga Berlin so close at hand, and the UK not making investment offers to Elon Musk, do the British really want to stay on top of the sustainable energy revolution wave? Let's see. And while Tesla has always flirted with the idea of a new manufacturing unit in India, 
It seems like this may be a reality after Tesla incorporated an Indian business unit into its company. The company wants to dive into the South Asian market, and would have done so earlier if it weren't for the high import cost associated with establishing an Indian gigafactory. But the Indian government is offering tempting investments and several sites, and we think it's only a matter of a few years before Tesla takes up the offer. At this point, we think it's pretty safe to assume that give or take a few years, Tesla will be in the lead when it comes to the production of gigafactories. While the world progresses towards sustainable energy because of depleting resources, gigafactories will become the norm with automation rapidly replacing human labor and reducing costs drastically. Well, what did you think about this video? Let us know in the comment box below. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up. Do you want to know which company is secretly beating Tesla and why? Well, click the video on the screen to find out.